Hello everyone, it is your boy Twinplays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So, recently we just left off with the Roblox Premium Benefits, and yes you guys, um, that was just, just happened just a second ago. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has been staying with me and supporting me, I know it's been just a bit, and I'm trying my best to upload as much as possible. It is taking me a while, but I am going to figure it out, so don't worry. Uh, I am going to hire some new guys for my thumbnails and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to be needing a, a video editor, because I'm not that big yet, so I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm trying my best you guys so I'm gonna be posting as much as possible I got a lot of videos coming soon here, and you're gonna love them. So uh, yeah, you guys um, Welcome if you are to my new channel if you are new to my channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notification You guys it means so much to me and we're almost at 11,000. So that's that's amazing um, But yeah, also if you want you can feel free to join the discord in the description because I also help out people there And we have a big community going on where we hit a thousand members just uh, a few weeks ago I think a month ago actually um, But it's pretty amazing and I do giveaways on there. So of course uh, welcome everyone now we are gonna be doing the first time playing GY and this is kind of complicated for some people, but it will be pretty easy for others. Um, now, you're going to go in the description and look for models, and it will basically lead you to this link right here. You're going to click this, and it should say item own. Now, once you own this, then you are going to be able to import this into your Roblox Studio. Um, so you're going to go to Toolbox, and you're going to go uh, to Inventory up here, and it's going to be this first one right here. So once you get get this basically what you're gonna do is um you're gonna ungroup this in server script service and you don't need that folder anymore and right click and hit ungroup now there is two things in here we have the script and then we have the gui with everything in it um i'm gonna actually quickly test this and show you what it's like um let me just quickly go do that all right guys so this is what it's gonna look like now this is a pretty simple gui it's nothing too crazy now i really recommend for like your game to do an intro cutscene or something really cool um i just made this because why not it's nothing too crazy but um it will pop down so we'll do an animation that'll pop down when they load in but um for some people it won't always load in because they may like lag or something into loading in or take forever um now the other thing is that i will be doing another video on one of these kind of things but like way better it's just this is just something simple and i want you guys to work on it yourself and try and like learn from it but uh, i basically gave you what you needed you just need to work on the gui basically but um it's just gonna be like welcome to please check out all this and it has a little grading in the back that does an animation so something kind of cool to look at but once you do hit play it will bring it down and it will never pop up again so that's how it works now you're probably like okay what else is it it actually gives you a badge now the reason that way we are doing this and scripting this is we are using a badge um the reason for this is because you could use data stores but really that is kind of not efficient and like in that doesn't like it you know you're gonna basically uh store up your data stores for no reason when you could just do a badge like it's so much easier um so we're gonna have this and i'm gonna show you um, let's actually just go look at the GUI because that other part's like kind of the hardest. But it's enabled, of course. And to show it in your screen and want to customize it, you go to position in the property section and you actually just name it 0000, 000 because this is going to where it's going to pop it up. Now make sure to go back down to 0010 because that will put it back down. Um, so you're going to go to frame and there's a few things. We have this local script, which is just a play button, the frame. And once they play the button, it's going to tween it back down. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then it's also going to disable the GUI forever. But um, we do have the play button that has this little cool like design. You can change it all you want, guys. Like I said, there's so much you can do. So if you want to change the colors, you want to change the design of it, feel free to do that all you want. This is all up to you. So like I said, guys, just customize this how you like it. It's your choice. But uh, then we have the play button, the gradient, and we have this little image. You know, you can do this. You can put it wherever you want to do. Um, I just, you know, I have it for fun, basically. And then we have the extra text up here where you can change this to welcome to. And then you could do whatever, like vibe game or something fun. <laughs> um, and you can customize this all you like. Now, this should automatically fit on all screens if I'm right. So you don't need to worry about that. But um, of course, you have the play button and stuff. But that's pretty much it. So now we're going to go back to frame um, and you can move it all the way down. So we're going to go back here and go one. And there we go put this back in there um the reason i put it in there is because it's in service script service so people can't access it if there is a hacker um and just because like it's it saves space basically <laughs> um but what we do here have what we have here is the badge service a player service the played badge a local function called add ui the player added function and of course the uh, badge service function now um 
it's pretty simple. So first we're grabbing the badge service because we are going to be using a badge for this. Um, the player service and we're going to make a played badge. Uh, the local ID for the ID of the badge and I'll show you in a bit here. Now, uh, then we, let's do this, let's do this first. And then we have the local function ID UI. So for this function, we basically are going to do script dot first time playing UI, which is that inside of that basically because it's a child and we're going to clone it and we're set the parent to the player, wait for player and then the player GUI. So we're going to be setting the parent of this GUI to the player GUI, which is going to pop on their screen. Local player GUI equals player, uh, player, wait for child player GUI. Then local frame equals player GUI, wait for child, then this GUI dot frame. So inside here dot frame. Then we're going to be framing this and tweening it up. So basically when they uh, join the game right here, if they do not own the badge, then we're going to be doing this function right here where we're going to tween it up to the, this player and then we're going to award them the badge. Else, if they do, then we're going to say player owns badge. Now, if I do play this game, I already have the badge. So it's going to say player owns badge in the system, the console. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So basically, it's just a local function called add UI. You I could have done it in here, but super nice to just leave it out here. So basically, like I said, we're cloning this GUI to the player. And then the player is going to see that it tweens by using this right here. Um, and that is going to happen when we check that they they join the game, of course, and if they don't own the badge. And um, this is how it works, basically. So that's all it. Now, going to the badge, this is the hard part and the sad part, of course. You guys are going to be like, Twin, you know, tell me it's going to cost Robux. Um, badges do cost Robux now. I think this is because, you know, they did them in the past and uh, people just, that's just how they did it. So, like I said, we're going to go to my Vibe House right here. It's so funny because I haven't played this game in forever. Um, but I have these badges right here. And when you create a badge, you basically just go to configure this experience, if I'm right. Or no, 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 no. Create. Sorry, guys. We go to create. And then we go to badges. Of course, here we are. And then you go to your badges. And I have Vibe House. And here we are. Um, we have 9,231. That's amazing. Um, but then, of course, you have this. And this is the ID. So that's it. That's the ID. You control C it and you control V it. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. Now, that's it for this video. Um, like I said, guys, so it does cost, I think, 100 or 50 Robux, one or the other. I'm so sorry about it. It's a little sad, but if you don't think you can get it, then I don't know what to say. Honestly, it's kind of investment to your game, so I'd recommend doing it and spending some kind of big bucks. You can just spend five bucks. It's not that bad, but I, I believe in you guys. <laughs> um, well, it's like $1 if, if you don't. Um, if you think about it, but thank you guys so much. I hope you did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I'm planning on releasing my other cool stuff really soon here. I have a lot of videos coming out and a lot of ideas. You're going to love them. So, um, yeah, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.